Hey everybody, um, so I am coming back to you today with a Dia & Co box and I got this myself. So this is one of their styling boxes. Um, I decided that I just wanted to try some new things and it's been a while since I've gotten a styled box. Styled boxes from here are always a little bit, you know, touch and go because you don't get to pick the things in them. So you don't know if you like them. Dia does have it set to where you can select items to be in your box, but um, whenever I looked through selections, I only saw one item that I wanted to try on. It was a pair of Madewell jeans. I've actually never tried on Madewell jeans, but apparently their stuff does go up to size 28 now. So I wanted to give that a try. And then I think in my note to the stylist, I said that I wanted um, potentially more Madewell stuff to try on. Well, so this is like a bigger box than normal. So I'm interested to see what I got. Uh, but let's get on into this and see. And what I'll do is I'll, you know, show you the items and then try it on and we'll decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. Um, sometimes d Co does have like a $5 styling uh, promotion. Of course, I paid the, I think it's $25. And the next day they offered the $5, which, you know, mm, but my own bad timing is not their fault. So let's see. Oh, okay, made it through. All right, so I'll look at the price details once we get there because I don't want to miss it. So let's pull out everything first. Okay. And I'm seeing off the top some cream colored stuff, some prints, sweaters. Um, sorry if it's too bright in here. Let's try going like that. And for a minute, I thought that was Maeve, but no, that's a couch cushion. Okay, so the first thing is by the brand LNA, which I've never heard before. It's in the 3X, and it appears to be, oh, interesting. We'll see. It appears to be a cream-colored turtleneck ribbed, which I like, but then I just noticed this. So it appears to be a cold shoulder, but like a really tiny cold shoulder. A, maybe we can say a little chilled shoulder perhaps because it's so small so I'm interested to see what that ends up looking like um you know I I giggled when I first saw it because so many complaints in plus size clothing is that like everyone gives us a cold shoulder this is a different cold shoulder than normal so we'll see how it is it looks to be okay a little bit of a bell sleeve on um that and then also the length is like a normal length the my first impression is that the material might be a bit see-through um, but it is very light and I do like that for turtlenecks because I don't want to be hot. So, all right, first item is an LNA turtleneck. All right, the next one gets into a print and I am pulled towards um, olives. And this is like an olive and a beige. And I just felt something fall by my feet. What was that? Oh, okay, just from the box. This is made well. Okay, interesting. All right, so it is a slight turtleneck a madewell sweater and it also appears to be normal length this is really cute i like this a lot the material feels like it could be potentially a little bit itchy um so we'll see how it feels when it's on my whole body but i'm really loving the colors and the print on it um so yes excited about this and this one is an also a size 3x All right, I'm seeing black. It's a bodysuit. Yes, I'm a little bit nervous about bodysuits. Not the easiest thing to wear. This is by Eleven Honoré, and it might be Honoré. I'm not sure. Um, and this is like a luxe brand, but it is also um, like they existed uh, separate from Dia and then Dia, I believe bought them. So now they're offered at Dia. So this is their like house brand because they also carry luxury brands. Um, so this is like, this is a Jane bodysuit. Okay. And let me see it. Okay. Appears to be just like a wrap bodysuit. You can see that there quarter, three quarter, or maybe a ballet sleeve looks to be kind of like wide um interested to see how this is it's a three button bodysuit i will see i don't tend to find bodysuits to be very um practical for my life but it's 
it's pretty for sure. This is where I'm just like, can we just make a shirt that I can like tuck in? But we'll see. Oh, another sweater. This is pretty. All right, this is by the brand Dex. And I saw a lot of Dex items when I went to go uh, choose things. This is also a 3X. It has a lot of interesting design. I don't know if you can see this, but um, yeah, you can. So it has these like threads that come off of it too. So it's, it's definitely textured um, and, you know, kind of peaches, navies, plums, browns. Interested to see how it is on. I worry that it might be um, itchy, but we'll see once it's on me. But this is, again, another full length sweater, which I appreciate because sometimes things are a little bit too cropped. I'm finding way too many cropped items. All right, and then, you know, I selected jeans. Oh, the jeans are in here. How many items did they give me? I only thought we got five items, but I guess I have six items in this box. Okay, so the next thing is a jacket, or is this a dress? It is a very long jacket by Bagatelle, potentially Bagatelli. This one's in a 4X, and it is kind of camel colored with navy and plum, um, what's this print called, houndstooth? And lots of paper in here. It's a very long, blazer I can't say that I'm immediately drawn to it but again we'll see what it looks like on and I'm sorry that like my lighting is so bad let's try it like that all right so we'll see it looks like a, just a really long blazer I'm I'm happy about trying on more things than less that's for sure all right and then these must be the Madewell jeans oh my gosh there's another item in here how many items did you think that you got in a Dio box? I thought we only got five. I apparently have seven. <laughs> All right, so these are the Madewell jeans and they were a little bit wider leg, so I was interested in trying that. These are in a 26W, the Curvy Perfect Vintage Straight Jean. Oh, okay. Uh, wider leg for me, considering all I ever look at in skinny jeans. But I thought these were really pretty and be a nice chance to try on. Uh, the jean, just, you know, a classic, nice color jean. I will say, feeling them, they don't feel overly stretchy. They feel like a more denser jean than I might be used to. Um, a little bit heavier, so interested to see that. Maeve is sharpening her nails. All right. Shorts. I will say when I was looking through the items that I could add to my box, a lot of them were shorts and I assumed that they need to sell through summer items. Um, so this is a Marion Sky 26W short. Um, oh, it's not a short, it's a skirt. I can already tell you that this is so short, I don't think it would cover my buns, but I guess we'll see. This is a much lighter denim. I'm just surprised by how short it is. Like, I might be a little bit of a, um, I might be a little bit, you know, extra covered. That might just be the way I dress, a little bit more modest. But we'll try it on. I feel like I'm gonna be showing all of my leg, which makes me a little nervous, but we'll see. Uh, I definitely have plenty of options here. And I will say besides Besides the short skirt being so short that I'm not sure that's going to be for me, and besides the fact that I'm not a bodysuit person, um, everything else is, is, to me, like very stylish, very now, and so that's exciting to be able to try on. Um, so sometimes I'll get boxes and I'm just like not into the style of anything. I feel like this is all really cool stuff. Let me see what my stylist had to say, just so we can look and see what she said. Oh, it's a box and now Maeve wants to play with it. Hi, Rebecca. I'm so glad you're back for another box. As our co-founder, Nadia, has said, style isn't a resolution you succeed or fail at. It's, it's self-expression that's constantly evolving. Style is a journey. Let's continue yours. Very nice opening. I adore the jeans that you chose for this box. They're going to look stellar with a black bodysuit and ankle boots. Trust me with the bodysuit. It's a staple piece you never knew you needed. Layer on the knit blazer to pull this fun fall look together. The denim skirt is easily worn with tights. Try that combo with the turtleneck or the striped sweater. I sent the sweater in a 4X to give you an oversized cozy fit. I hope you have a blast walking your own runway. Consider me your friend in fashion and be sure to let me know what you what you like, don't like, and most importantly, how you feel in each piece. 
Can't wait to get to know more about you, Rue. So maybe I'll try on some of the combos that she suggested too. Just so we have a little guide of prices because that does affect how we feel about things. Um, the knit blazer, which is that long blazer, is $83. The bodysuit is $118. I'm not surprised because 11 Honoré is, is again a luxury brand. The LNA turtleneck is $112. Now that's a surprising one to me. And of course, I'll wait till I put it on my body, but that material... Um, I could have assumed I would have found it at a Marshalls TJ Maxx. Um, the Madewell mock neck um, sweater is 103. Dex Plus sweater um, is 79. The skirt is $30. And the Madewell jeans are $138. So um, this is a very expensive box. It says merchandise total is $663. Oh, I paid $20 for the styling fee. If you buy five or more items, you get a 25% off discount. So if I bought everything in the box, it'll bring it down to $477.99. And I can guarantee I will not do that. Um, but this is definitely a, a more expensive box. I want to say I generally try to have my settings up to 100. But obviously, I picked the jeans that were above 100. And I knew that going in. Um, so let's see how things go. I will say... First impressions, I am more pulled towards the Madewell jean and the Madewell sweater. And then we'll see how the rest pans out. Let's go try things on. Okay guys, it's not going well so far. <laughs> All right, so let me talk about some of the benefits. This bodysuit, it is very pretty. Um, it is so wide at the shoulders that you can technically step into it versus having to snap it. Um, but when I did that, it was not long enough for me to come up. It was basically like around here and it was showing my entire bra and all of that stuff. So it was not long enough in the torso. In fact, I just have it tucked in. Um, so it's it's definitely not long enough for me personally. I don't think, you know, this is my, my problem with bodysuits. Even if not for plus size people, they don't make enough room for the stomach and the butt and all that. All right, now the Madewell jeans, I really didn't know how to think about the fit because I've never tried them before. They actually fit decently well in the leg, but they have no stretch. So as soon as I do this, I can feel it pull right across my thigh. Now looking at it, I actually think it looks quite nice. Sorry, maybe, she's down here. Um, I, I think it looks nice, but obviously it is too small on me. And what's interesting is that even though it is too small on me, uh, here's what it looks like in the back. There is uh, like a big gap here uh, where it's not like forming to my back. But even if I were to pull as tight as I want to on the front of the um, band to close it, this does not move. Like it's just, there's, this stays sitting away from my body. And so the fabric doesn't really your body is going to have to mold the fabric versus the fabric molding to you. And I'm guessing that's because of how low in stretch um, it is. Um, I have been wearing a size 26 denim at Torrid, um, at Bloom Chic, but I will say those places do a lot of stretch. So I'm not like surprised that the lack of stretch in these jeans are making it not a good fit for me. Which, you know, is interesting because, again, like, like back here, I can just see, like, all this fabric. Like, it's kind of, like, not cute right here on me. And yet, it doesn't actually fit. So, I just think these are not made for my body shape, which is fine. So, let's move on to the next step. I'm going to put on my own pair of jeans that I like to try the other tops because... We all need a little dignity, right? We need to wear pants that fit. Okay, be right back. Does anyone else's cat enjoy just tipping over all the faux plants you have in your home? Just mine? It's her favorite activity. Okay, anyways, here is the trail neck and the skirt. Um, now this skirt has stretch to it. This is a 26, it fits fine, but it is very short. And I actually have it right at my belly button. Whereas normally I would probably actually want it 
slightly higher um, to fit my proportions better, but I was scared to do it because it is very short and I imagine, yep, yep, like, like even with tights, this would be um, a problem and it just is, it's too short in my opinion. So the turtleneck feels nice. Does it feel over $100 nice? No, I still feel that this material is nothing special from other places where I've bought ribbed knits. Uh, I do like the sleeve style. It's a little bit long on me, but I am kind of short. Now this is interesting, this little cutout. It almost is so little, it seems like an accident. Um, but it's not. And because on me, and granted I'm not sure, I, I do have narrow shoulders. Because on me I have narrow shoulders, it ends up coming down like a drop shoulder. And I'm just not sure that looks right. You know, maybe if I had broader shoulders and this was sticking more like here, maybe it would look better. But I'm not loving it. I don't feel like this is that interesting of a style. And then if I move the skirt where I would want it to actually be, which I do think makes the proportions better for the top, um, I just feel like I would need more inches on the skirt. This would not be wearable to me. So these items are no-goes. Um, I just feel like the skirt was not going to work to begin with, but the top just is a little weird. Just a little weird for such an expensive top. It'll let me know what you think in the comments. If this looks intentional to you or or not. Because I can definitely see why someone would be into the style. I'm just not sure it's working out for me. Okay, this is the Dex Plus sweater. And I do like the um, texturing that is on the sweater. Um, and I even like the colors. What I didn't notice when I picked it up out of the box was the sleeves. And this is actually a feature I've seen on lots of sleeves. Um, if you looked a couple videos back, I went to a boutique and tried on some clothes and I saw that there and it's just like really dropped shoulder and then like a big puff in the middle of your arm. And I personally am not a fan of that. Like I would have liked this better if this just continued on down or something. Um, so, so that kind of throws me off of liking it. I feel like I'm not going to reach for it because it just is a lot of fabric on my arms and that's not exactly my favorite thing to feel when I'm dressed. But I do think the colors and such are pretty and I wanna bring it closer so you can see what those look like up close. And here's the sleeve. And I have to imagine again, I said I was, um, I said I was narrow shouldered. So if you have a little bit more shoulder, maybe it, it comes up to here and it's more like, it's not as bunched at the bottom. But that's still just not, I don't, it's not a style I, I tend to like. But it does feel nice. It, it goes down to a decent length and um, it's not itchy if this is something that does interest you. It looks to me like it has the same styling all the way around the back. And I think, you know, I, I, I like it. I just don't love it. So this is a pretty easy one for me to say, nope, next. So let's try on the next one. Okay, so here is the longer blazer. And I will say I like it more on than I initially thought. Um, now, I will say but just because I'm a bigger person, the fact that my shoulders are narrow really kind of sometimes creates fit issues that I'm always going to have, right? Unless I get things tailored. So again, it's like really kind of dumpy looking in the shoulder. And I know I could use shoulder pads, but I think even with a shoulder pad, this is just too much shoulder for me. And then the arms are just too much. Um, I believe this one is in a 4X. Did she say this is a 4X? Yeah, she wanted to give it to me in an oversized fit and perhaps, you know, honestly, it does fit me right in the um, lower half, but I wouldn't be wearing it closed. I'd want to wear it open. So perhaps a 3X would have been better. I don't know that like oversized blazers or coats are the right thing for me, but um, I mean, the fit is nice in terms of let me, let me rephrase that. The shape is nice if you are interested in this. I do think the fabric is cool. 
that hounds two thing i do think it looks good with a cream troll neck underneath it um i just think it looks it looks not well fitting on me personally and i also don't love because it's a soft fabric i don't love how it is like kind of gathering and doing stuff here i don't think it looks very chic on me um but at least i can see that it is a stylish item they sent me it's just not one for me okay so this is the last item from the box of course i'm thinking please like it please like it because i want to use my styling dollars towards you know an item although i do think if you send everything back they might offer you a free style box I can't remember and i do like it i like the style a lot i like the colors a lot um my fear is that it's itchy i actually don't feel itchy in my arms what i feel itchy is right here on my chest area so what i might do is wear this for 10 minutes or so see if that goes away or see if it just gets progressively more annoying because i i can't wear something that's going to itch to work that's just not going to work but i do think it's a very pretty sweater and again i really love the colors um, I think the shape is nice. I think the length is nice. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell from where you're at, but let me get closer. So you can see the lines here. And I really like the way that creates like just a really easy shape across the sweater. Um, the neck doesn't have any kind of lines here. So that just means the fabric goes straight up and it just fits fine. Let's see, am I getting any kind of hive or anything? No. <laughs> um, so I will say the itchiness seems to be subsiding, um, but I want to, I wonder what kind of fabric this is. This is acrylic, acrylic, polyamide, and alpaca. And so I wonder if one of those things, it might be the alpaca that's like a little bit itchy for me, but again, only right here. So, hmm, I'll have to think about that, but I'm going to wear this for just a little bit of time and see what I decide about it. Okay, I'm checking back in, and I think, as much as I don't wanna lose the $20, this is like a $100 sweater, and so do I wanna lose $80 for itchiness? And I just think, no. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I would pull for it because of the amount of itch it has on my skin, and um, that may affect you, it may not. I still like the styles of Madewell, so I would like to try more items from them. Um, but, you know, I'm learning because this is a new brand to me. So the jeans, I might have to specifically look for styles that have stretch in them. Um, and the tops, I might have to figure out which of these materials uh, is itching me. You know, honestly, I tend not to go for bulky sweaters. I tend to go for softer fabrics. So perhaps I'll ask for that. And um, we'll see. I can't remember again if, if you send everything back, do they offer you another styling box? I think maybe, um, but I just don't see the point in me spending money on anything that I'm not gonna reach for. I do think my stylist Rue had some cute ideas for outfits, so I trust her like visual of where she wanted this to go. It's just that for whatever reason, either fit or fabric, the pieces didn't work out for me. So I at least feel like the stylist has a similar style to me, which is great. Uh, and now it's a matter of finding the right fits and items for me. Um, so I'll give her feedback and we'll see. Are you interested in me doing another Dia box? Because if so, I will do another one. Um, but also I do have a link down below if you want to use it. This is a normal link that anyone who's a Dia customer can get where if you refer uh, a new client, I believe you get some kind of money to use towards your own boxes. So if you want to use that and try out Dia, you are free to. Um, but I am going to send this all back. And actually what time is it? It's about 1.30 on Saturday and I have time to go early votes. I'm going to go do that and I'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye.